2019's paper December 2019's paper and this question it is from calculus of variation section it says that let y equals to yx belongs to c4 class of function in the interval of 0 1 be an extremizing function for the functional this one given satisfying y equals to 0 equals to 0 and y at 1 equals to 0 then the extremal yx satisfying the given conditions at x equal to 0 and 1 together with the natural boundary condition okay that means to find the extremal you need to use these two conditions along with the natural boundary conditions at x equals to 0 and 1 okay that's the scenario but first of all what you have as your f here f means f is a function of x y y dash and y double dash so you have y double dash square minus 2y as you know the euler lagrange's equation its higher version it is like this way and perform the calculations step by step and immediately you will have y4 equals to 1 and if you just simply solve it then you have y3 is x plus a y2 at x square by 2 plus a x plus b and proceed further x square by 2 plus b x plus c and y equals to x to the power 4 by 24 a x cube by 6 plus b x square by 2 c x plus d fine four unknown and you have four conditions in your hand okay fine if uh, one want to solve this question by eliminating the options that means um, checking the given conditions you will not find suitable any suitable thing for you because all the four options will satisfy your given condition given two conditions so nothing special will occur in that case so you have to proceed this manual way okay fine now use the given condition y0 equals to 0 that will give you d equals to 0 just do the calculation nothing special y1 equals to 0 and uh, it is 1 by 24 plus a by 6 plus b by 2 plus c equals to 0 fine okay now use the natural boundary condition that is f y double dash at x equals to 0 it is going to be 0 and f of y double dash at x equals to 1 it is going to be 0 so use these two condition you will find another two equations there fine and from there you will get the values for a b and putting all those values of a b d here in this equation you will find the value for c okay i am not doing all these calculations here you just do it perform the calculation accurately and let me know in the comment section whether you got your answer or not okay fine <coughs> so using all these conditions you will find here that you got your solution as the third third option okay so here as you can see I have done all the calculations hmm. so if you find any problem then let me know okay but try yourself okay nothing special is there so meet you soon in the next video and if you find it helpful please share with your friends so that another student get useful information from this video so okay thank you